Billy with Gamer back online. Gonna show you how to start a map and build roads efficiently uh, and just get your general start setup going. Your water, your sewage, your power, and many things along those lines. This, this game is not too bad on the Xbox One, I'll tell you the controls as well, give you a basic tutorial just to. If you're picking it up for the first time it can be a little bit daunting and you can be stuck and there's no reason for you to be stuck I'm here to help you okay so when you start off you will have one or two rows coming in basically um, you want these are your roads out these are important these are where everything that your goods are going to be exported from so hmm. Start start by pressing. <clears throat> You'll already be in the met bottom menu, but just use your left D-pad to go from the uh, inspector tool over there, right onto roads, and then as you can see, there's many different roads at the start. There's only one unlocked, which is this one. This is the one we're going to use. Bring this over. Look at this a nice long straight road. Ideally, you'd make this a dual carriageway straight away, but they don't allow you to do that, so it's not not that bad. And then off this, bring one down. This can be your um, industry zone. Try and keep it to the side, so might as well make it a bit more efficient than that. If we can bring that to there like that, and then on this side Do that little straight one I won't build too many roads at the start because otherwise you'll use all your money and you will not be able to do other things which is can be a bit of a pain in the ass. obviously build them and I'll pause it to make it you click your left analog stick in to pause time you can't speed time up um, it can be a bit slow at times this game but bear with it it's all right. You'll be all comes good when things work. All right, build some things like that. Be some, and then build some residentials. On, I don't want to connect this road. There we go. Just connect it in there. I'm gonna move a bit further up to allow for road expansion later on. Mm -hmm. A little bit closer, allow for the road expansion. Touch closer to this side. Alright. So we built some roads. Now we have to categorise them. So press BB, get back to where you were. Use the right D pad. At the bottom, you can see the four squares. That's zoning. You need some low residential. I'm selected this area for my low residential. Not really on the main road, but my industry is going to go up here. Try and keep it to the side of the map so the pollution doesn't go everywhere. Uh, I'll build some low, and I'll probably build some more green there just to see how things get on. And when you do see how they get on. Um, obviously do it accordingly if something's more popular than the rest then do it but for the time being select everything and try and get one colour on it or not because then something can be built there if it's absolutely blank nothing can be built there you need electricity for your people I know everyone wants to be environmentally friendly and buy the wind turbine but it's really just not worth it at the start um, go for a coal power plant I know it's 19 grand but trust me it is gives out so many more megawatts and again I would do it right in the corner of the um, map there so nothing's going on we'll sort out the power lines in a minute because we'll see where people are propping up and what they want to do so I'm going to unclick it so people can start building they don't need water and sewage to build they need it once they're built so we need a water pump 
this is the problem we haven't got in this map is to um it's not a stream so it's not really that good because you find that you I had I've done this map earlier and basically the the pump went into the um to the sewage which was not good if I remember correctly this should be built here the water pump here are well away from the sewage pump if you're going down and upstream then you don't need them so far apart because you obviously use a downstream but your waste going downstream and your water pump further upstream so you're not sucking in the, the crap so you got both of them you have to build both of them and then connect them to one another we'll worry about electricity to him in a minute we'll get the water sorted out what I would say is don't build your water and take it to the road don't build your road and take your people to the water it's not not worth it honestly just get that up here so anything that's got the blue has got water okay so anything that touches that has got water anything that isn't touching it has not got water you'll see a drip come up to people's um, on their little houses if they haven't got water so now these guys Quite, I haven't quite got water because I've got to um, get the power to them. But as you can see, I've got. I, they'll inform me if they need power. Oh, sorry, water them guys. So let's get the power. Once you've got the coal power plant, you have to select the power line. Anything within that blue um, square is picking up power. So the people along the path will pass it to each other. Oh, that's out of city limits there. It will stop construction if um, you are on one of them squares yeah, and you can destroy it afterwards and it costs money to have this running but uh, you know it's necessary for for these to run and for the whole town to thrive and people to start coming in. Right. Now I bring that over here they all want power, that's cool. You can have power, my fairy head friends. And so we've got a little town being set up now. People should start moving in. Come on, tell me you've got power. Yeah, they've all got power now. They're cool. So they're moving in. I've still got a population of zero. But that is how you basically start. I'll go through the controllers if you're confused in any way, shape or form. So if you're back to normal screen, it should look like this. You've got the bottom D, um, bottom tab bar, and it's controlled by the D-pad. You'll lose money at the start, it's fine, soon people will come, you'll, you'll make money. Personally, I'd raise taxes at the start, just a few percent, it'll help uh, money come in. Um, and there's no problem whatsoever, uh, they, they won't not come in because your taxes are a little bit higher. You can see down here on the bottom right hand bar that residential is sought after a lot at the moment. So. If I build this here, they're not happy, but again, you can't please everyone all the time, boys and girls, you're going to have to annoy a few people to make yourself a successful city planner. Yeah. So, start that, build that, build that, give some more greenhouses, they'll pass electricity onto one another, I might need to put some more water on, so again, just go to water pick the pipes you can come off that come off where your pipes are already going and the new houses will have sewage and water straight away um, as you carry on and you get more people in your population you will uh, unlock more things like as you can see there the trash for 420 420 for the healthcare and again as you get further you unlock the fire department fire station and everything along those lines um, it, you know, it's a good game. Press Y to um, find the list little tab. It's got the areas. Once you get so many population, you can buy the land next to it, link it up. Your city info will tell you information. Once you've got a little bit more information to be analysed, you can see the policies. You can make the policies up as you go along. See, it will tell you what they do. Um, as I said, this is holding Y and using the left analog stick to use it. Um, if you go to this one at the bottom left, Inspector, you can 
use the right trigger to zoom in and find out what's going on so low density building under construction um, 83 people moved in so it's looking all right it's all building up quite quickly soon something else will be unlocked um, you can see the commercial zones are starting to build up now as well not so much the industry yet that will come but yeah that's building up nicely you see the residentials they, they want their own little cul-de-sacs away from businesses and things like that they're not that happy being next to especially industry that, that will annoy them they'll be upset and if you're looking to bring people in quicker make sure you build parks uh, and other attractions and tourist attractions making recreational use of marijuana will raise the uh, tourist population but will mean that your people are more likely to commit crime that's life anyway i hope you found uh, my starter off tips helpful please subscribe if you like and check out my next video for me it's over and out